Another invisible wound is post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. The military has acknowledged the tremendous toll both PTSD and traumatic brain injuries can take on a veteran's life and family. Tonight, a new tool to fight these injuries, one mind at a time. There's been an explosion of data uh, from a neurophysiologic standpoint showing what happens in the brain as we're practicing these meditative techniques, uh, these relaxation techniques on a regular basis. We actually see changes in the brain that are conducive to better mental health. Dr. Gary Kaplan is the founder of the Kaplan Center for Integrative Medicine in McLean, and he says mindful meditation works to both overcome PTSD and even prevent it by making the mind more resilient. Dr. Kaplan says PTSD is not limited to soldiers. In fact, 6% of the general population suffers from the disorder, mostly after violent car crashes. He says those with PTSD tend to be emotionally withdrawn. They may have trouble sleeping, higher irritability, and a tendency to experience an instant replay of their traumatic events. One is hyperarousal, so that they'll have situations where they hyperreact to things. So hearing the backfire of a, uh, of a car in McLean, Virginia, gets reacted to as if there's been an explosion of an IUD. Uh, in the battlefield. Retired Navy Commander Peter Griffiths hopes these techniques can help today's soldiers reach deep inside themselves to heal. That's what he had to do to finally banish the emotional stress that was contributing to his physical pain. We all have those feelings and unless you spend that time to look back into them, you'll go through life wondering why uh, things like uh, the backfire happens and you're not ready for it and it brings back some memory of something that you weren't prepared for at that time. Another place teaching mindful meditation techniques to both soldiers and first responders is the Mind Fitness Training Institute in Alexandria, where they've shown the practice makes people more mentally resilient to stress and trauma.